Okay, 200 feet, right straight ahead. Mickey Nelson, the master showman, presents Sail Up for the Living Corpse. Buried alive for 53 days. And as an added attraction, Mickey Nelson gives you Gene Krupa and his orchestra. Yes, sir. See Sailor Burke, buried alive with music. Long ago, swung a young gorilla through the trees, what a killer dilla. Ever since, thinks that gorilla some like it hot. Wow! Later on, fiddle Mr. Nero, down in Rome, he's quite a hero. Ever since, thanks to Mr. Nero, some like it hot. When the rooster first went, peck, peck, stop community bent. His neck butted with him, perish with him. No, 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 I should say not. <laughs> Everywhere you've got Joe. Joe, I wish Nicky were here. We can't hold this crowd much longer. Why don't he stay on the job like the rest of us? He's the only spieler in the outfit that can make these beach come apart with a dime. Well, he's probably busy figuring a new angle. Him and his angles. You can't eat angles, but try that. He'll be along soon, I hope. We'll see what the corpse wants. Now, what do you want? What's that? Seepage water? Wait, I'll take a look. And I looked down all of a sudden, and I'm surrounded with water. Why, Nicky? Drop that hook and get me out of here while I'm still alive, corpse. Hey, fellas, what is it? The grave of the living corpse has sprung a leak. The sailor's half underwater. Water? Oh, where's that, Nicky? I may be a human groundhog, but I ain't no duck. <laughs> About time. Yeah, I know. The sailor's up to his ears in water. Probably the first time they ever saw it. This is no laughing matter, Nicky Gene. I know this is serious. Say, we gotta get him out of there in a couple of days. A couple of days? We gotta get him out of there now. Shh, shh, shh. Look, there's plenty of time and no reason why we shouldn't cash in on this unexpected bit of drama. Just hop up in the ticket booth, rake in the tent, and leave the rest to me. All right, boys. Hold it, hold it. Come closer, folks. Come closer. Step right in, suck it. Ladies and gentlemen, just move right in. That's right. Come in, come in. Don't be afraid, girlie. Step right in. This is Nicky Nelson himself in person, bringing to you the most unexpected bit of human drama as we approach the finish of the most spectacular scientific experiment ever perpetrated on a human being. Did we use a rat? No. Did we use a cat or dog? No. Did we use a man? No. We used Sailor Burke, the human guinea pig. I... In just about 14 minutes and 9 seconds, the sailor will come to the surface with a new world's record. Oh, excuse me, folks, while I speak to the living dead. Nicky Nelson of the Nicky Nelson Enterprise is speaking. What can I do for you, sailor? You can't do nothing if you don't do it quick. There's real drama going on down there, folks. Drama you can't afford to miss. While Sailor Burke clings stubbornly to his grave, refusing to be removed until the record is broken, his very life is threatened by water seeping into his tomb. For a dime ten cents, you can watch this Titanic struggle in safety and comfort. The line forms on the right. Let's get it. Step right up, girls. Only a dime ten ten. And now, for the last time before coming to the surface, the living corpse will speak to his thousands of fans and admirers. Take it away, sailor. Get me out of here. Do you want me to drown? Yes. No! Say, at this stage of the game, you want to drown on me. Why, you can't double-cross me like that. But the water's up to my neck. Keep your chin up. And now, folks, I give you Sailor Burke. Hello, folks. This is Sailor Burke. <gasps> It's kind of damp down here, and it ain't raining, neither. <laughs> Good 
Good morning, Professor. Quiet, quiet. I'm looking into my own future. At your age, playing with a marble. Here, let me have it. Please. I'll make your future an open book. Ah, oh, your future's coming to me. Why, it's my buried alive concession. You mean Sailor Burke is sharing his grave with me? No, we dug up the sailor last night, two weeks ahead of schedule. And was that a lucky break for you? It was. Sure. I have two more weeks on my rent, and right now I haven't got another attraction to put in. You know, I'm going to let you have that location for a mere nothing. And how much is nothing? Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? Forty and not a cent more. You're getting it cheap because I'm taking in plenty of my wax museum. Well, I'm losing money talking to you. The professor will ignore it. Okay. But if you change your mind, you can find me at the wax museum. Hey, give me back my crystal. All right, here's your eight ball. You might want to get behind it. Mm, nice shot. How's picket, Sam? Not so good, Mr. Nicky. I just about lost my enthusiasm for this job. Well, don't get discouraged. You should be more grateful. After all, don't I let you sweep up around here and keep what you find? Yes, sir. But I do so much sweeping and find so little worth keeping. Would you say I was losing money on this deal? Well, Sam, that's because you're not alert. Why, this place is a veritable gold mine. Well, look at this. <laughs> Just pick it right up. <laughs> and look at that. A half a dollar. A half a dollar? Give me that broom. Wait a minute, boss. Wait a minute, boss. Look at that. Wait a minute, boss. This is my job. I have made no money for two years. A hundred percent American. Say, have you seen that lovable landlord of ours around here, old Beaglebeak? No, sir. I guess he got kind of tired of trying to catch you in or out. <laughs> They'll have to get up pretty early to outsmart Nicky Nelson, eh, Sambo? Yes, sir. Come on, you money. And rear your ugly head. Where were you last night? Hey, Sam. You better set another mouse trap and Cleopatra's hair. They're at her again. There, that's pretty. <laughs> I told you that stuff would get you. What do you hear from the mob? Caught up here at last, didn't I, Mr. Smart Guy? You got me, Beaglebeak. Don't call me Beaglebeak. Okay, horse teeth, what do you want? You know what? I want all my back rent this minute, or I put a padlock on the door. Why, do you think I'm the type who would cheat a man out of his rent? Yeah, I guess you do. Okay, Scrooge, wait here. I'll go to the bank. No, you don't. Well, you act like you don't trust me. I don't trust you, and I'm not acting. Well, I'll make you a deal. If I give you 50 bucks in account, will you let the balance ride? Well, yes, till the end of the week. But you better have the rest of the rent by then, or out you go. Yeah, there you are. You'll have to take my word for the rest. Because I have no reason to doubt your word. Oh, no, but just the same. I'll stick around. Okay, but don't look at the statues. They scare easy. <laughs> huh? You too, my inspiration. How are all the members of our little corporation today? What? Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, Sailor. You're sneezing better. Thanks to you. Well, what are you complaining about? For 53 days, didn't I give you free room and board? You call that gopher hole a room? Well, it isn't everybody that has a room with running water. Oh, now, salesy Walesy, be careful. I don't want anything to happen to you. We might need you again. How about some dough, Nicky? Yeah, that's what yeah, I want. When do we get any money? Anything new, Nicky? Well, if all you're going to think about is money. Buddy, I've been laying down there for the last two months thinking about nothing else but money. Ah, oh, for flozy woozy. <laughs> yeah, well, in that event, I guess there's nothing to do but read the treasures report. You know, the living corpse exhibit started off a sensational business. On the opening day, of course, nobody came. The next day, business fell off a trifle. Uh, then we had a decided pickup. And as soon as we hit our stride, <laughs> business fell off again. However, we managed to limp in with a grand total of Five hundred and thirty-seven dollars and sixty cents. Hey, that's okay. Nice work, Sailor. Oh, that's not bad. It's nothing. How do we split? Oh, not so fast, Sailor. We got deductions here for expenses. First, there was hamburgers, twenty-one dollars and sixty cents. Then the excavation, one hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Uh, then the redigging the tunnel. That's when it caved in on the Sailor. That's sixty-five eighty. Gee, maybe it would have been cheaper to let me smother to death. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Oh. Uh, 
Anyway, there was electricity. That was $52. Falling asleep down there with the lights on. Oh, and I almost forgot. $50 in our rent. Old Beagle be caught up with me in the 49 camp. That leaves exactly $34.20, which is just about enough to put over a deal I have in mind. Hold on. I was about to clear in some dividends. Sailor's right, Nicky. The boys are entitled to one square meal. All right, I'll leave it to the gang. All in favor of me spending this money to put on a new show, say aye. All in favor of splitting it up between us? Aye! aye. <laughs> okay. The vote was a little close, but there it is. Split it up. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Let's split this in. Yeah, yeah he's right. Go on. And when you get through fighting over that chicken feed, I'll tell you how we can make some real dough. What's up, Nicky? Well, I wasn't going to spring until it was all set, but now that you ask me, I'm working on a deal for you and the band to take over the Paradise Dance Pavilion on the pier. Man, would that be a break? No. Hanratty won't even take the trouble to listen to us. He doesn't want a hot band. He goes for Teddy Lovewell and his sweet music. Oh, yeah? When I get you guys in there, give you haircuts and $22 tuxedos, we'll put on a real show. We'll have a swing contest. I'll invent a new dance. The Nicky Nelson stomp. Why, it'll sweep the country like prairie fire. Watch. Oh, you could pack the thing like that. The Nicky Nelson stomp. If they go in that ballroom, I'd go along with my clarinet. No more being buried alive for me. Look, Gene needs musicians. Well, beneath this chest of mine sleeps the soul of an artist. <laughs> Why wake it up? If Han Reddy don't go for this chance, I'll miss my guess. But if anybody isn't satisfied and wants to pull out, that's okay by me, too. Go right ahead. Let's see how far you can get without Nicky Nelson behind you. <laughs> Who's this knocking on your door, Miss Marvel? Come in, opportunity. I have a time to play games today. Good morning. For you, teacher. What's the matter? Has old coffee nerves got you down this morning? Mr. Hanrat, he's busy. He'll be busy for days, probably months. He'll be... Thanks. I'll wait. Am I crowding you? Yes, thank you. Warm, isn't it? Are you expecting company? He might come back. I'm sorry, I was only clowning. I imagine you do very well at that. You in show business, sister? No. I'm just here trying to stir up a bridge game. And I'm not your sister. Or maybe you haven't been home lately. Well, not so. Say, you're pretty quick in the answers for a dame. Look. Do you mind being quiet? I want to concentrate on ignoring you. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. I've got it. Jack Baylor's act. You sang a couple of numbers while the customers recovered from his tired gag. That's right. The act only worked two nights. It was my first and last job. Say, you looked okay that night. Nice smile, lots of flash. Of course, the act was small time. Oh, small time, all right. Nobody's been able to forget I worked in it. Well, it's too bad you didn't bump into me sooner. I could have straightened you out. What are you, an agent? An agent? <laughs> are you kidding? Look, Toots, I buy and sell agents. I'm Nicky Nelson, president of the Nicky Nelson Enterprises from the rockbound coast of Maine to the sunny shores of California. Well, sort of nice to talk to somebody who's uh, going places. <laughs> Get him to tell you where. <laughs> Say, you're certainly a lucky girl bumping into me like this. All you need is a break, and if there's any man in show business can give you one, it's Nicky Nelson. Why, well, do you know what they call me? What's your language? They call me the star motor. I'm all the stars. What are you doing, a cloudy night? Well, we could sit in the parlor. Don't hand me any excuses. Just drop a check in the mail for that bet on the fights. Yeah, 30 bucks is right. I gave you three to one, remember? That's right, bye. Great little guy. They call him three to one hand, Randy. Always willing to take a chance. That's why he's a great showman. Say one word from me and he'll have a dozen places to spot you. 
Gee, I kind of feel like I'm imposing. Imposing? No. Why, Steve Hanratty put his arm in a fire up to here for me. Hey, by the way, what's your name? Lily. Lily Raquel. Lily Raquel. Lily. Lily. Gosh, it smells. Huh? Oh, I mean like flowers. Lily. <laughs> oh, like flowers. Don't mention it, Charlie. Come in again anytime. Always glad to see my friend. Oh, Mr. Hanratty. Oh, just a minute, opportunity. I'll be tied up for the rest of the day. You heard him. See that we're not disturbed. Doesn't the word private on that door mean anything to you? If I let little things like that stop me, I wouldn't be where I am today. Steve, I have the answer to all your troubles. I didn't have any until you came in. <laughs> I'll let that one go by. Look, why don't you stop kidding yourself? You've got a first-class dance hall that's dying on its feet. The spiders have stopped spinning their webs in there. Even the mice are on relief. Why? Because you've got a corny band that puts everybody to sleep. <laughs> this is swell. A bankrupt telling me how to run my business. Well, I can bring that place to life with the sweetest bunch of senders you ever heard go hot. Gene Krupp and his band, if you'd only hear them. I don't want to hear them. I don't like to hear them. I go out of my way not to hear them. And here's the big punch. I am see the show myself, and then throw in my own specialty act. I've written a new tune that'll kill you. Why don't you try it on yourself? If it isn't first on the hit parade, you can lay it to politics and professional jealousy. I haven't got the words, but get a load of this melody. It's sort of a ballad type, you know, moon, soon, love, dove, and all that sort of stuff. Boy, it makes me cry every time I hear it. Hang in there on this. Parker break into a soft shoe routine. How do you like it? Not a bad tune. Not worth much without the words. Might give you a couple of bucks for it. Oh, nothing doing. The song's part of my act, my life's blood. Now, after the dance routine, I pull off some nifty jokes like this. There was a traveling salesman. Oh, father, I've, I've heard him. Yeah, but I have some new ones since I last saw you. Now, look, Nicky, you're not an actor. But if you've got to act, for heaven's sake, why don't you go to Larry Mintz or somebody and let him write you an act? I waste 75 bucks when I can write it myself. Don't be silly. Wait till you hear the rest of my ideas. I'm going to stage a jitterbug contest and have a lot of excited kids whooping and shouting their heads off. Now listen, you tin horn spieler. Stick to your trick hand and soapbox ballyhooing for flea circuses. I'm running City Pier, so keep your nose out of my business. You're a Parker, not a Velasco. Hey, up to here. Okay, Steve. But don't get sore when I'm headlining the vanities. And when I have my own radio show, remember, you had first chance. I'll try to bear my loss bravely. Goodbye now. Oh, and just one more thing. There's a girl outside, has a terrific voice, and can dance like Pavlova. Have a look at her as a favor to me. Oh, Lily. Hey, is this my office or yours? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Raquel, this is Mr. Hanratty. I told him all about you, Lil. It's in the bag. Thanks, Steve. I'll do as much for you sometime. I understand you're looking for some girls. I've got all the girls I need. I sing, too. That's no novelty. Sorry. You might leave your name and address with my secretary. I never know when I might be able to use a girl like you. Thank you. Can you tell me where I'll find the Nicky Nelson Enterprises? They dug up the living corpse last night. So his only remaining enterprise is a broken-down wax museum on the boardwalk. Those dummies haven't walked out on him. Well, after living corpses and wax models, maybe he'd like to take a chance on a live gal. Come in, come in. See how Cleo Panzer lets Anthony take her into his arms for only ten cents. What did Hanratty have to say? I didn't wait to hear. I just tossed the old bombshell at him and ducked fast and give him time to think it over. That's my way of letting them sell themselves. 
Say, how's business? Terrible with that animated whiskey sour hanging around. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Scrooge. Maybe Flo can give him the eye and lure him away. Nah, he's at that stage where women get on his nerves instead of his lap. Don't worry, let him be. I'll wear him down. Here, here, here! Here, love, 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 that magic little word. Come in. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the one and only, the incomparable Lily Rattel. Say, gee, take over for a spell. I have some unfinished business with a lady friend. Hi, you, Lil. Fine, thanks. Don't let me interrupt your work. You might lose some business. Oh, that's not work. That's just my way of getting relaxation for more serious problems. I, I just bought the old museum for laughs. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, where did Steve spot you? Steve? Yeah, hand ready. I bet it didn't take him long to size you up. Oh, it certainly didn't. About uh, 18 seconds, I'd say. But he was very nice about it. You mean he... he told me to leave my name and address. Oh, well, that's just a formality. He'll call you. Didn't I tell you hand ready put his arm in the fire up to there for me? Up to where? Yeah, well, well, don't worry. <laughs> well, that isn't why I came. I, I'm following a hunch. And I'd like to tell you about it. Maybe we can go someplace and have lunch and talk. Lunch? Sure. That's an old working man's custom. Oh, lunch? Yeah, that, that's that lull between breakfast and supper. Yeah. Well, shall we go? Yeah, we can. Just any place. It doesn't have to be exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, this way, sister. Oh, I forgot you weren't my sister. <laughs> Matter of fact, I shouldn't have any trouble remembering that. Hey, you are, Lil. Pull up a chair. Finest little eating place in the beach. Right, Joe? You said it, Nicky. A couple of hamburgers, Joe. And don't spare the horses. Well, Lil, what's on your beautiful mind besides your hat? Get it? I don't want it. What about this act of yours? Huh? I mean, the one handwriting said that you ought to have Larry Mintz write for you. Well, why should I waste my money on Mintz? <laughs> hey, how do you know about that? The transfer? Handwriting's off? I couldn't help hearing. Everything? Well, now that you've got my number, why'd you come back for more? Because you've got what I need. Front. With my talent and your ballyhoo, I think we can go places together. You mean you want to tie up with the Mickey Nelson Enterprises? I mean, I want to do this act with you. That is, if you don't already have a partner. Well, as a matter of fact, I was looking for a girl. And what do you say? It's a deal. Partners. Partners. Oh, I can see our names in lights. Mickey Nelson and Company. Well, as long as we're partners and, and we're going places together, I want to pay my way. I'm a little short of cash right now, but here. You ought to be able to raise $75 on this. Well, what for? For the act. Well, what makes you think I can't pay for the act myself? The transom, remember? <laughs> Keep your jewelry, lady. I don't need it. Well, okay, but the offer still holds good. Gee, it'd be swell if we could get Mintz to write some lyrics for your song. That's a grand tune. How about some cotton candy for dessert? Fine. Are there any bull weevils in here? Don't spare the horses. Well, here's how, Lil, and let the vitamins fall where they may. Here's how, Nicky. Joe, just put that on my account. You'll see Mintz this afternoon. Huh? I said I would, didn't I? You let me know what he said. Oh, sure, of course. Well, wait a minute, here's my address. Until then, goodbye and lots of luck. Partner. Bye. How much? 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Sure, 20 minutes for the dame. All right, but that's charging plenty for an attack of indigestion. All right, folks, refreshing as a sea breeze, tasty as a sweetheart's kiss. Stop, look, try one of Joe's hamburgers. The hamburgers with a personality. Come in, make your stomach laugh. Try one of Joe's hamburgers. What has Joe's hamburgers tenderness? Candy, here. sunny. Candies for the kiddies. Try one of Joe's icicles. See that man talking in front of Joe's place? Yes, ma'am. So give him this ring. And here's a nickel for your trouble. Gee, thanks. Try Joe's Jumbo Jollies. Now's the time. Get away from me, boy. I don't read. Come in, folks. Get it by. Where'd you get that? Uh, 
I've seen better, but I guess I could let you have 50 bucks on it. Big hearted, that's a bargain at 100. Look, Mickey, I'm not a pawnbroker. Well, I gotta have at least 75. Tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a break. Here, you roll them. If you win, I give you 100. If you lose, I get the ring. Oh, no, I can't gamble. Take it or leave it. Well, okay. Guys, hear me. Uh, Mr. Hanratty, don't you think we ought to talk this thing over? I mean, if we could get together... Goodbye, and... now. Well, I guess I'll have to write the act myself. You really hate the public. Yeah, I'm public hater number one, and you're my public. What's the matter, old coffee nerve got you down? Am I glad I found you? I've been looking for you all over town. I ran across a fellow today that's written an act that's made to order for us. It's a wow. Have it. Oh, cool. Oh, he's got some swell ideas. Lots of nifty. Yeah, yeah what does he want for it? Oh, we can get it for a song, practically. When the curtain goes up, we're in the basket of a balloon. You begin flirting with me, then I start talking about myself. I say to you, I just swallowed a quarter. You just swallowed a quarter? Yeah, then you say to me, well, how do you feel now? And yeah. I say, no change yet. <laughs> Isn't that a wowsy? Wowsy? <laughs> you can speak plainer than that. I tell you, it's swell. When the curtain goes up, we're up in a balloon. We're... Well, here. Right up here. Now, we're sitting in the basket of a balloon singing Up in the Air Blues. New number. So new, it hasn't even been written yet. Then the business I told you about, then I say to you, I swallowed a quarter this morning. Then you say, how do you feel now? Then I say, no change yet. Can't you see the audience rolling in the aisles? Did men think that would put him in the aisle? Of course, that's the only kind of stuff he writes. Then we go into our love song. Did you talk to Mince about the lyrics? Of course I did. And he said, he, he, hey, the way you keep quizzing me, you think I've never even seen Mince. What kind of a dope am I anyway that I have to sit here and let a dame call me a liar? But I didn't. Well, you might just as well. You were thinking it. Besides, you never told me how much you got for the ring. Well, I was going to, but it kept slipping my mind. Seventy-five bucks. Now, will you be satisfied and stop nagging me? Well, it's only because getting the act together means so much to me. Get that, will you? Means so much to you. I like that. To hear you talk, I had nothing to do with it. Why, for two pins, I just... I'll be in my room if you should need me, dear. Well, thank you, Mrs. Beckett. Who's uh, the human hangnail? That's my landlady. Oh, so now I'm a heavy as well as a liar. And stop crying. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a crying dame. I'm not crying. Honestly, dear, I feel like anything but cry. Well, you might just as well. You got that look in your eye. You're a pretty smart fellow, aren't you? Too smart to be roped in by any dame, so get that little gray home in the west gleam out of your eye. And stop fussing with my tie. You... Say, your hands are on fire. You're burning up. In more ways than one. Now I've got it. I get... Okay, honey. You got me hooked. Did you call, miss? Say the word and I'll send for help. No, thanks. He doesn't need any help. Jealous. Now do you know what it means, that gleam in the eye? Yes, sir, The Ladies in Love. The Ladies in Love. Boy, what a title. Get a pencil and paper. Gleam in the eye. Gleam in the eye. Gleam in her eye. If there's a gleam in her eye, that's great. It fits the meter perfectly. That's wonderful, darling. I've got it. If there's a gleam in her eye, each time she straightens your tie. You know The Ladies in Love? With you. Oh, boy, what a start. Dress for a date. If she can dress for a date. If she can dress for a date, 
Without? Without that waiting you hate. Lil, you took the words right out of my mouth. If she can dress for a date... What was that again? Without that waiting you hate. Without that waiting you hate? It means the lady's in love. With you. Oh, yeah, with you. No, with me. Yeah, with you. Yeah, with me. Yeah. Oh, boy. Now, let, let's take it from the top and see what we have. Huh? Okay. If there's a gleam in her eye Each time she straightens your tie You know the lady's in love with you If she can dress for a day Without that waiting you hate You'll know the lady's in love with you And when your friends ask you over to join their table But she picks a faraway booth for two well, sir, here's just how it stands. You've got romance on your hands because the lady's in love with you. Of course, it doesn't sound that way when it's sung right. It's the five across on Milton and the third. Right. And when you hear the gal I got to sing it, will you be surprised? And with the rest of the act, I'm telling you, we'll be sensational. I like the song. I always have. Come clean, Mickey. Where'd you steal it? Right out of my own head, and that's not petty larceny. And the rest of the act's just as good. I'm not interested in the rest of the act. You're making a mistake, Steve. Neither one, I'm not. I wish I had the dough to cover that. Say, speaking of dough, Steve, you remember that ring I still owe you a hundred bucks on? I haven't forgotten. Well, you wouldn't let me take that ring and give you an IOU, would you? I would not. I've got to have it, Steve. Why? Why are you so hot for the ring? No. I'm on a spot. You know how it is, a fellow makes a promise to a gal. So, what's a promise? Yeah, well, this is different, Steve. You see, I'm in love with this gal, and she's in love with me. That's why she gave me the ring. The ring still sells for a hundred bucks. Oh, soften up, will you? Okay, kid, I'll give you a break. I'll shoot the ring against your song. My song? Oh, I couldn't do that. It's part of the act. It's only trying to help you. Wait a minute. Put 50 bucks for the ring, and I'll take you up. Goodbye now. 25. You go out the same way you came in. Give me the dice. Come on, Dice. This is our last chance. Be good to Nicky. Just this once, please. Here's my ten. And ten more. That's all I got. Oh, you better keep one. We might want to eat sometime. Give me a change for a match. What have you got? I've got five aces, and if anybody has any more, then this game isn't on the level. I was clipped. Me too. I get it. Hanratty turned you down again. Hanratty's a dope. If only he'd give the band a crack at the pavilion. Oh, well, why go into that? We've got to figure out some new angle. Say, has Beagle Beak been around today? Not yet. Let's get outside. We'll give him the old come on gag. We need a dollar bill for that. I got it, Gene. Safe and sound. I was saving it until things got tough. Love, 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 that magic little word. Come in, see the world's greatest lovers. Come in, watch Josephine throw her arms around Napoleon. The rest is history. Oh, how about you, mister? Not interested. What? Do you hear that, folks? Here's a gentleman that's not interested. Don't you know all the world loves a lover? Still not interested. Wait a minute, buddy. I want to make you a proposition. I have here a brand new one dollar bill I'm going to give away absolutely free to you. If you can walk into this museum and come out and say that that isn't the greatest show on the earth for one dime ten cents. Yeah. Well, come, come. He who hesitates is lost. Yeah, I'll take the offer. So am I. Only I want the dollar first. Not so fast, stranger. Give me that dollar. Okay, Beagle Beak, you win. Yes, and I want 59 more just like it, or out you go. Now listen, Beak. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Oz, but if you'd be a little more patient... Sure, you'll get the door. I don't need more promises. I'll give you boys up 10 minutes to get your belongings out of that building. I always knew that dollar bills carried germs, but this is the first time I ever saw a germ carrying a dollar bill. Well, tell the boys to get this stuff out. Well, it looks like this is the end of the Nicky Nelson Enterprises. Guess we better start looking for a job. Come on, kids. Pack up. Hey, 
Ticket, lady. Hold your arms up. Hello, is Mr. Nelson around? Uh, uh, he's on the pier, uh, under it. Maybe if you hurry, you can catch him before he jumps. Oh, that's how it is. That's how? Hey, is this a private wake, or can I move in? Oh, hello, Lil. Say, sit down and get yourself an eyeful of salt water. Boy, this old Sierra is good for what ails you. Including landlord trouble. Oh, I see you came by the waxworks. That's a laugh. Why, just yesterday at board meeting, we were discussing ways to break the lease. When Zowie, along comes old Beaglebeak wanting to raise the rent. Was that a break for us? I suppose that means the end of the Nicky Nelson enterprise. The end? Of course not. Why, it's, it's just what we businessmen call retrenching. You know, taking it easy till things pick up. Well, do you know who's behind me? A couple of bill collectors and three or four sheriffs. Yeah. I wouldn't worry, Nikki. Who, me? Worry? <laughs> I mean, you still have the act. And me. We'll get along, all right? Yeah, sure. We'll get along. same way. Well, oh, come on, you cats. If you're going to play sad music, let's swing it. understand you're not used to thinking in millions get up there and sing with a band where are you going to find that yellow basket i've just discovered the goose that lays the golden egg losses are running too high at the Paradise. Over 2,600 in three weeks. Steve Hanratty didn't make his reputation on losses. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. People just aren't dance crazy like they used to be. I'm not asking you for excuses. I'm telling you to get results. If Teddy Lovewell's sweet music won't pull him in, that doesn't sound like fair music. Daylight. Well, you don't call that dancing. Who cares what it's called? If that's what they want, that's what the paradise is going to give them. Take Lovewell's name off the marquee. He's fired. Nothing, absolutely nothing. And then 
in, I produce... It's not in. Don't you ever get tired of saying that? Through the trees, what a killer dilla. Ever since, thanks to that gorilla, some like it hot. Later on, fiddled Mr. Nero. Down in Rome, he was quite a hero. Ever since, thanks to Mr. Nero, some like it hot. When a rooster first went, peck, peck, the community bent. His neck busted rhythm, perish with him. No, 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 I should say not. Everywhere you can find survivors Nowadays people call them jivers Thanks to those senders and drivers Some like it hot Long ago swung young gorilla Through the trees was the kill the dealer Ever since thanks to that gorilla Some like it hot Later on thinned Mr. Nero Down in Rome he was quite a hero Ever since thanks to Mr. Nero Some like it hard when a rooster first went peck, peck, the community bent his neck, but did rhythm perish with him. No, 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 I should say not. Everywhere you can find survivors nowadays, people call them jivers. Thanks to those senders and drivers, some like it hard. Marvelous, superb. Let me be the first to welcome you to the Paradise Pavilion. Thanks. You know, for a minute I thought you said... What did you say? I want you and your band to take over the Paradise. I'll give you a grand a week and 10% of the receipts. You mean you want us to take over the Paradise? Uh-huh. Us means the vocalist, too. Hello. Hello. Haven't we met before? Uh-huh. You were shaving. Oh, of course. Now I remember. Never forget a face. Well, what do you say? Is it a deal? What about Nikki? I don't need a Parker. Well, then you'd better count me out. You see, Nikki and I are going places together. We're working up an act. Act my eyes. Been getting up an act for five years. Now look, don't fall for any of his phony promises. I'm offering you a guilt edge proposition. Just put yourself in my hands and I'll see you get the best songs. I've got a new number right here that's due for the top spot in the hit parade. A little thing I picked up called, um, The Ladies in Love. Here, Krupa, take a look at it. The Ladies in Love? Yep, The Ladies in Love by Nicholas Nelson. Where'd you get this? Won it in the crap game. And the ring you're wearing? Another crap game. Okay, Mr. Hanretty. I'll go with the band. Ah, oh, so you finally came down to our level, huh? Well, now you hear something that'll really kill you. Go ahead, Gene. Knock out a few hot licks so little Napoleon here will change his mind about hiring you. I changed my mind already, Nicky. Group and his band go into the paradise tonight, under my management. Oh, that's great! Under whose management? Wait a minute, I'm running this outfit. Not anymore, Nicky. Goodbye. See you, boys. Oh, he's kidding. You didn't sign without consulting me. Nicky, I have to think of the boys. Oh, but this is mutiny. You can't walk out of me like this. We're a corporation. I'll leave it to the gang. They'll decide right now who's managing the Nicky Nelson Enterprises. All in favor of Steve Hanratty managing this outfit, say aye. Aye. Oh. Oh, so that's how it is. Well, that's swell. Now I can devote all my time to the act I'm working up with Lil. Sorry, Nikki, she goes with the band. Lil, you didn't... Oh, so you know about the song. And the ring, too. Okay. Okay, so what? I never wanted to do the act anyway. I was just trying to be a right guy, that's all. I was roped in. Well, you know who I was? Nicky Nelson, the guy who never whistled twice at the same dial. And now look at me, a punch drunk goof with his chin out, all because I listen to some dame. Well, get this, all of you. I travel alone from now on. You're on your own. And when the sledding gets tough, don't come crawling back to me. All right, fellas, let's get going. Each time she straightens your tie, you'll know the lady's in love with you. If she can dress for a date without that waiting you hate, you'll know the lady's in love with you. And when your friends ask you over to join their table, 
but she picks a faraway booth for two. Well, sir, here's just how it stands. You've got romance on your hands because the lady's in love with you. about that lobster place on the South Shore Road? Good place. When you hear the chimes, it will be exactly 2 a.m. For the next 15 minutes, we'll be entertained by the Early Bird Catches the Worm program, featuring popular music and friendly advice on how to win financial independence. Good morning, Early Bird. This is Nicky Nelson, your favorite announcer, bringing you another one of his popular broadcasts on the investment of money. Nicky, did you hear that, Steve? I heard. As usual, I have a nice, big, fat, juicy worm for you early birders who are looking for a sure thing. And I don't mean sea biscuit in the handicap. Before I tell you about it, folks, I want to put you in an extra good humor by playing a couple of request numbers. First comes a request from the chef at Peter's All Night Chili Parlor for... Well, well, The Ladies in Love, played by Mr. Gene Krupa and his orchestra, and featuring Miss Lily Raquel on the vocal. I couldn't escape from you if I tried. Oh, leave it on, Steve. Nothing could give me more pleasure than to play this big hit tune for the chef at Peter's Chili Parlor. It's always with a pit of pat of the old ticker that I listen to these popular entertainers. For it was my good fortune to know them when, and to be able to give them a start on the road to success. Take it away, Gene Krupa. Same old Nicky. Same old line. If there's a gleam in her eye, each time she straightens your tie, you'll know the lady's in love with you. If she can dress for a date without that waiting you hate, you'll know the lady's in love with you. And when your friends ask you ever to join their table, but she picks a faraway booth for two. Well, sir, here's just how it stands. You've got romance on your hands. 
For the next few minutes, you will be entertained by a program of organ music brought to you by... That's funny. Transcript. What do you suppose could have happened? With Mickey Nelson at the wheel, anything might happen. Steve. Yes? Would you mind if we turn back? Why? Well, I... I'm just not as hungry as I thought I was. Lady, I've met a lot of microphone maniacs, but that loon was too air-minded. But did he say where he was going? I've got to find him. Well, when you do, take my advice. Have him fitted for a straight jack. Come in. It's exciting. It's educational. See the largest and deepest hole ever dug in this city. From our protected platform. For only five cents, one chin. How about you, mister? Come in, see one of nature's largest cavities for only five cents. Come right in. Come in, hear me, hear me. Only a nickel to see the steam shovel, folks. Come, come right in. Hurry, hurry, it's your last chance we fold up tonight. Come in, folks. We've got to find him, Gene. Are you sure you want to? What do you mean? I mean, look, Lily, you're a success. You're climbing, you're on your way to the top. But Nicky, now, don't get me wrong. He's small time, always will be. You can't change him. Who said anything about changing him? Come in. Hello, Nelson. Was closing there a success? Not bad. You took in $6.40. Well, nice work, lad. Why didn't you think of charging to see a hole's done before? Think of the money we could have made. What's your next job? Digging a tunnel under the Mississippi River. Think people would pay to see that? I don't know. That's a little far from the chump trade. Couldn't you dig a little closer to Broadway? <laughs> oh, no, I'm afraid not. Well, there's your cut of the day's take, lad. Three dollars and twenty cents. Oh, thanks. Say, that's a pretty big roll you got there. Yeah, about hundred and four dollars I've saved off this job. Well, so long. Hey, what's your hurry? Why not stick around and try your luck? Now, for doing that, I'm doing this. Well, good luck. Take this next door and have it pressed. I'll give you the pants later. Give me the works. You too, sister. See if you can take the morning bands off these flippers. Hey, you. When you get back, uncork a little elbow grease on these destroyers. See if you can make these shoes look like shoes. I'll do my best, boss, but I ain't no magician. <laughs> That's that new dull leather they're wearing now. Mmm, mmm. That's what I call a head of lettuce. Yes, sir, with exactly a hundred leaves. Mmm. You must be rolling them bowls. I rolled them all right. Now I'm going to pay off. Thank you, sir. Gardenia, sir, you're never dressed without a flower. Only a quarter. <laughs> Make you look important. You win. Give me a fresh one. I might have to eat it. Master Showman in person. Welcome, Nicky. Hiya, Maestro. Still fooling them? Still getting by. How's everything with you? Oh, never better. <laughs> I got a new bunch now in the Nicky Nelson Enterprises. Oh, real workers and troopers. Boy, are the dividends pouring in. Too bad you fellas didn't stick with me long enough to cash in. We all guess wrong once in a while. You, you eat between meals? <laughs> so, uh, I heard yours. Sure, we heard you were getting a break, Nicky, and we're glad for you, aren't we, fellas? So there we are. are. <laughs> Upstairs, lad. Well, so long, Nicky. 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 So long, N
Well, okay, I'll sit out front and listen to you, see if you've improved any without me. Always glad to hear suggestions from a real showman. Say, Nicky, could I? Are you kidding? I'm loaded. I have plenty of sugar. Same old Nicky. See you later, huh? Okay, Gene. offering this to me. Well, with reservations and conditions, of course. <laughs> it could mean a proposal. What else could a square cut salad there in a flesh box mean? Steve, you're putting me on the spot. Why? For the life of me, Steve, I, I can't make up my mind. That's what makes me so mad at myself. I ought to jump the chance to be Mrs. Steve Hanratty. Any girl should. I sit here like a deadhead. A good steak will make you say yes. Ah, oh, that comes under the heading bribery in any girl's language. Or should I simply take matters in my own hands and decide for you? I wish you could. Take this card to Mr. Cooper. Yes, sir. Who's that, your husband? Remember, you don't know me. You never saw me before. We're total strangers. Hi, you blow. It's a lie. I never saw her before in my life. Oh, don't mind, Bertie. Sit down and make your officers happy. Gee, Nicky. You look like you're in the money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Friends, enemies, and fellow rug cutters, I feel it a great honor to present to you the man who holds the star spot in the affections of your old swing master. I mean, of course, that man to whom we all owe our success, that imperial wizard of words, that world-renowned showman. Take it away, Nicky Nelson. Oh, hooray, hooray. Nicky. Hey, look, Nicky, take it back. Friends, while I was giving you a surprise, I was also getting one myself. I take this means of announcing the engagement of Miss Lily Raquel, Stephen Hanrat. Oh, Steve, you shouldn't. I told you I was going to make the decision for you. Come on, everybody, a big hand for the future Mr. and Mrs. Steve Hanrat. Good luck, folks. I hope you're very happy. May I offer my congratulations to the happy couple? Next time I introduce one of my girls to you, I'll marry her first. Lots of luck, Lil. I, I have a little present here for you. I brought it around sooner, but I didn't have time. Nicky, I can't take a present. Sure, I know how you feel, but this isn't a regular present. Well, look. Ron Sawyer, pals. If you visit the World's Fair, either one, on your honeymoon, just look me up. I'll probably be managing its biggest amusement concession. Well, so long. Nicky, redeem my ring. Tonight. Wait. Tell Nicky, in case he doesn't sign to manage the World's Fair, that I need a good master of ceremony, a comedian, someone to hand me a lot of laughs. 
that the best you can do? Ask Nikki. Be sorry if you do. No, I won't. You're a success. You're on top. Yes, Nikki. I'm as near to the top as I'll ever be. Yes, Nikki. I'll be spieling about jumping frogs and three-legged wonders till I'm walking on my beard. Yes, dear. You'll be living in a suitcase using can openers for silverware. I know, dear. Is that any kind of a life for a girl to be running after? If it's okay with you, Nikki, it suits me. <laughs> well, I don't hear any cheering. <laughs> Ray. Well, is that the best you can do? Yeah, on an empty stomach, Lil. Nikki. Oh, What's the trouble, lady? Anything I can do? Uh, bring a plate of ham and eggs and some toast. Ham and eggs coming right up. Where's ketchup? Yeah, and the ketchup. Lots of ketchup. Nikki likes ketchup. If you've been traveling by plane, but she begs you to please take the train. Bet you three to one the lady's in love with you. If she waters every day No, she hasn't got a darn thing to say You're a cinch, the little lady's in love with you And Sunday night, when you take her to see a movie Two loges, please Darling, darling, the balcony seats will do yeah. <laughs> Well, sir, that's just how they act You might as well face the fact Yes, sir. The lady's in love with you. 